Give me six hours to chop down a tree, and I will spend four hours sharpening my axe. Abraham Lincoln. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Rasayanika's Kickstarter webinar for CSIR Net Chemical Sciences. I hope all of you are doing well. Yes? Okay. Please confirm in chat if you can hear me and see me too. All right. So truly said by Abraham Lincoln, a majority part of whatever we do in our life is execution. But execution will always be inefficient if we do not plan well. If our engine is steam engine, we will move slowly. If it is electric engine, it will move faster. But to decide which engine to use is called planning. Today, as we start the Rasayanikas, popularly known as Kickstarter webinar for CSIR Net Chemical Sciences, June 2021, as we kickstart our preparation. Today, we are going to discuss some smart strategies, some rare methodologies, which our experts will be talking about, which will help you strategize better and develop an action plan for CSIR Net. Now, last month, we had the exam, right? On 26th of November, I guess, the exam concluded for chemical sciences. Am I right? Yeah. So on that day, when you came out of the exam hall, what was going on in your mind? If you wrote the exam, what was going on in your mind? Please tell me in the chat box. What did you feel? How did you feel? You must have felt that, yes, I did good, but I, could, I would have done better. Right Now, this always stays in our mind. And how to execute better so that when you come out of the exam hall, you are fully satisfied that, okay, I am very satisfied with my performance and I feel I'm going to qualify. Who doesn't want that kind of a feeling? In fact, I would love to have that feeling as soon as I come off the exam, exam hall, right? So if that has to happen, then we have to follow the quotation which Abraham Lincoln said which means we have to plan perfectly. We have to develop an action plan. And you all are fortunate enough that you have six to seven months now to target the June exam. So plan ahead, plan early, develop that action plan under the guidance of Rasainika's expert. And towards the end of the webinar, you will take away a lot of valuable insights. Okay, so let, let us get started with this webinar of today. As I said, we have two speakers, Dr. Nitin Padalwar and Ms. Sayanti Ray. Both of them will be talking in detail about the strategies which you must be following for inorganic, organic, and physical chemistry. So let me quickly read out the agenda of today's webinar. We are planning to discuss how to plan CSIR Net smarter this time. We are also going to discuss some smart time management techniques. We are going to discuss the tools which can be used to make our study faster and smarter, and some syllabus hacking strategies and tricks. All this will be discussed in this particular Power Pack webinar in the next 90 minutes. So, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? If you are ready, please type in the chat box, ETL, eager to learn. Are you eager to learn? Then type in the chat box, ETL. Yes? Okay. Wonderful. So let me uh, put some more insights on the power of planning first, okay? How many of you know that man landed on moon like I think 50 years ago or more than that, right? 1962 or something. Now, do you know that your smartphone processor and RAM capacity is 100 times stronger than the rocket computer which was there in that rocket, okay? The computer which was there in that rocket, which took man to moon, was 100 times weaker than your smartphone processor of today. But still, they landed on moon and came back. How did they do that? Because they developed an action plan. They developed a foolproof strategy. Now, you can say, sir, they had 10 years to prepare, correct? But we have six months to prepare. So there is, this means we are comparing apple to oranges? No. What I'm trying to tell you here is, you have experts who, who are going to guide you. There was no one to 
guide NASA because this, that was being done for the first time. But for you, this has been done. Qualifying CSIR net has been done several times by several students. So we know that formula, we know that foolproof formula and all we're going to do is open up all that in front of you today. So ladies and gentlemen, action plan. Action plan, if you want to develop, then first thing you need to develop is objective. So what is your objective? If your objective is only to qualify CSR net exam, you are not going to clear. Your objective should be to become a great researcher. And you should understand that CSR net is just a passport to that pathway. It is a rocket which will propel you in that direction. But that's not the destination, my dear friend. Okay. Now second, strategy. If you want to develop an action plan, strategy is a must. So what kind of strategy we should develop? That is what we are going to discuss today. Apart from that, you will also need collaboration. Now, when it comes to collaboration, I'm going to give you an example of uh, inverter UPS battery, right? So you must have seen in your house uh, how the UPS or the inverter batteries are stacked in a series, one after the other, right? If it is only one battery, the backup will be lesser. If there are more than two to three batteries, the backup will be for longer time. Now, this is what? Collaboration. Now, that is what you have to do. When like-minded people come together, and join each other in a series. They give backup to each other. And that way, you last longer. Okay, your UPS will last longer. The same way, you must collaborate with experts. This is not a university exam, let me tell you. This is not about, okay, passing mass cross, you, you are qualified. No. Your performance is compared with other people who are preparing for this exam. And that means, in your action plan, collaboration is a must. So you must Align yourself with experts, whether you want to align with Rasainika experts or any, anywhere, you have to do that. That is very, very important. Self-study will definitely help you. But that way, you will commit a mistake and learn from it. When you collaborate with like-minded people, you learn from their mistakes also. And that is how you can grow faster in life. Next is scheduling. So we're going to discuss the time management techniques, of course, during the preparation and after the preparation, okay, during the exam. So all that scheduling part will be covered in today's webinar. And of course, after that, you have to act. Now that you will understand the objective, you will understand the strategy, you will understand the collaboration, you have to act on that. And then only seven months later, we will we'll get an email from you saying that, sir, thank you because of Rasainika, I qualified this exam. Now that is what is our aim, our goal. What's your goal? Qualifying? Yes? Correct. Now, once you have all these things lined up, you need to cross verify. Are you going the right way? Every seven days or 10 days, you must check your schedule. Are you following your schedule properly? Is there something which is missing out? Come check down this webinar recording later. And that way you will know where you're going wrong, how to fix that. And that's how you can nail this exam. Followed with that of obviously implement. Execution, execution, execution. Remember, no idea is great. Only execution matters. After planning, execution is everything. So let's start and execute our first plan, which is action plan of the day. Let us discuss how can we kickstart this exam preparation for CSIR net chemical sciences. And at Rasainika, we have a firm belief that if we join hands with you, we can help you qualify. And that is our goal. We, we know definitely that you can qualify, but for that, you have to put in equal efforts. Okay, another uh, secret I wanted to tell you before I quickly, uh, you know, pass on the uh, in controls to our first speaker. Okay, so that is whenever I read a book, okay, suppose that I have a book, I keep in my mind that I should put in effort more than the author of this book to read this book. Okay, now, no, I don't want to do PhD on this book, but I must spend enough time with it so that I understand exactly how the author wanted to say or portray the concepts to me. And that is very, very important for you. Don't study just for namesake. Okay, I don't like inorganic. Okay, let me just pass through the pages. Okay, uh, on paper, I have co completed this uh, chapter. Nucleophilic, I have completed. But that's not the trick. The trick is to put in equal or more amount of effort than any other expert would have put in for that chapter. Okay. That's how you can rank in the top 100 ranks in CSIR and chemical sciences, right? And that is my goal to help you do that. 
So if you guys are ready, shall we start? Yes, let's execute the action plan for CSRNet. Let's kickstart our preparation with our first speaker. Thank you so much. I'll see you at the end. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back once again to the CSRNet Kickstarter free webinar. Thank you, sir, for the introduction. Today, I am excited to be here to share my experiences of preparation strategies of this prestigious CSRNet examination. I do see many young people here who wants to start their research careers. However, there is one bottleneck. That is, you must crack this CSIR net with JRF to start your research career. Can you please quickly type yes or no in the live comment box? Have you attempted this CSIR examination which was conducted on 26th November? Please type it quickly. Nice. I see. Many of you are actively preparing for this examination and you have successfully attempted the examination. How many of you feel that you need to attempt it again? If you feel that you have to attempt it again, were you prepared for the examination? If yes, then what went wrong? The question arises, what went wrong? Something went wrong, we have to try again. This what pops up whenever there is no internet connection in your mobile phone, then what you will do? You will check the settings, whether network is there. You will also confirm whether I have exhausted my data for the day or you may simply blame the network carrier. Here, same applies. What you have to do is check what is going wrong in your preparation you must be doing planning for the preparation but this is the planning which is going wrong again and again and some of you must be trying this examination over and over again with the same strategies what you have been doing over years let me tell you that more than 95% of the aspirants or the candidates are the bad planners or they don't plan at all. I am not saying simply, I have the proof. The proof is the statistics. You should know the statistics how many people are qualifying the examination. This is the results page of CSR net examination which was conducted on uh, 16th June 2019. In the results page, there will be roll numbers and next to them will be the acquired rank against each roll number. Please notice that the roll number starting is a six digit number where first digit is the subject category. For chemical sciences, one is the subject category and remaining five digits that is following one is the applicant's exact number it tells us about the how many applicants were there for this examination if you scroll down you will notice that this result extends up to somewhere here and there is a transition from roll number one to two if you look at closely you will notice that there were closely 50,000 approximately 50,000 candidates appeared for this examination 49,439 is the roll number of a qualified candidate so we can safely say that approximately 50,000 candidates have appeared for this examination and only handful of them that is 900 students or the candidates have qualified JRF that amounts to near 1.8% out of the total candidates and 900 more in the LS category. 
So altogether, 3.6% out of total 50,000 candidates appeared for this examination. So it means that 96.4% are bad planners or they don't have planning at all. So what to do? Now we have to set the things right. I know you have already printed the syllabus. You know there are 39 units throughout the chemical sciences department. Then what is going wrong that we have to set it right? Instead of knowing the syllabus, I suggest you to absorb the syllabus. Each content in the syllabus should float like a cloud around your head and it should poke you to ask whether do you remember me or do you, do you know where is my place in your head. This way, if you prepare and remember the syllabus, then you are on the right track. But Please be careful that you are not overburdening yourself. You have freedom to choose out of the three, whether physical chemistry, organic chemistry or inorganic chemistry. But make sure that if you are choosing any of the two, you should be thorough in it. And I expect that since you are preparing since long, you already have a well organized timetable. Preparing and pasting the timetable on the wall will not help but you should make sure that you are loyal to it you are following each and every slot properly so if you have a study plan you should also stick to the study plan and let me put it in other way if you are reading something and simultaneously you are thinking that who commented on my facebook post or is there anything interesting in the whatsapp then you are cheating yourself. You are cheating your studies as well as Facebook and WhatsApp profile as well. Because at the same time, neither you are doing Facebook or WhatsApp nor you are studying. You are simply wasting time. So stop doing entertaining the distractions while studying and be loyal to whatever you are doing. I am not saying entertainment is not necessary. Entertainment is also necessary, but you should be 100% whatever you are doing. And one most important thing is the mental strength. It is not an overnight preparation. It takes around five to six months of preparation. Then if you are doing it all alone without help of any coaching, then you are likely to get disheartened. So I suggest you to seek experts guidance. Now I am going to share some interesting facts about learning process with the help of Ajardale's learning pyramid, alternately known as the cone of learning. According to Ajardale, an American educator, people generally remember learning activities based on the method of learning. For example, if somebody is learning only by reading, the 10% of what they read is written. If they learn by hearing, 20% if they learn by seeing something 30% of it it is written if if they are learning by seeing and hearing simultaneously uh, simultaneously then 50% of the content is written moreover the retention capacity increases when they do all of the above to, uh, together and they say it and write it on the paper then 70 percent and if you do in actually actual then the 90 percent of what you have learned is written so a, a person who learns by reading and hearing can define list describe and explain the things very well however a person on the other hand, if he learns by viewing the images, watching the videos or attending the exhibitions and watching the demonstrations, he is capable of demonstrating the experiments or apply his scientific knowledge for the problem solving. As you go from top to bottom in the pyramid, the learning ability improves step by step. 
solutions may be in any field they do all these things not only that they will invest their time in something very important thing that all of them do that is practice irrespective of their field of expertise they do the common thing that is practice practice and practice there is no exception let it be a sports or let it be a music or health conscious person or the spiritual or the political leader or a artist performing a stage show they all do practice over and over again so we are not exceptions we also must to practice over and over again what do the toppers do differently than us or if you are a topper what you do differently that is practicing over and over again to sharpen your memory and skills so what you can practice in chemistry is there are n number of named reactions their mechanisms etc can be practiced over a paper or the board you can practice the chemical structures how many of you remember the structure of camphor some topics in organic chemistry like reaction mechanisms chemical structures and this stereochemistry are very difficult without practice and therefore i suggest you to invest your time in practicing so if you practice solving the derivations in physical chemistry then there is no need to remember formulas at all because you can arrive at a specific formula without being remembering it because it is already absorbed in your brains so you can arrive at the formula at any given time and answer the twisted question whatsoever it is asked in the examination so as i will be discussing the important topics you must invest your time in practicing spectroscopy numericals and numericals in physical chemistry as well some people are naturally gifted with a special type of memory called as photographic memory they just see whatever comes in front of their eyes and they capture it and process it later and they can remember it for lifetime forever this ability is present in every one of us but it is not utilized to the proper extent so how we can improve our photographic memory it is observe that the pictures triggers it rather than reading a plain text whenever we see a picture it will improve our photographic memory therefore there is a proverb a picture worth 1000 words human brain is faster in encoding the information in the form of pictures and therefore it will be available for recalling later at the faster rate and therefore we must think of using our photographic memory to benefit in the preparation what does this exam toppers do definitely they use their photographic memory for studies you can also improve your photographic memory by investing in practicing in with the help of memory aids so how much time you get while solving the examination question paper in 3 uh, hours you have 120 questions so whether to go for the question or not you will decide in the 3 seconds if you are able to recall the concept related to question uh, related to question you will keep on reading the question otherwise at that moment you will decide to leave and skip to the next question
this is what happens in the examination so if you have faster rate of recalling the concept there are the chances that you can go ahead with the question to read further and solve it and thereby maximizing your score so the memory aids which can improve your photographic memory are flow charts certain notes are the flash cards that are known to sharpen the photo photographic memories so in order to save time you can go for professionally crafted flow charts that are available to buy rasayanika is about to launch the flow charts which covers entire syllabus of the chemistry and some of the samples are shown here please think of uh, buying them once they become available another uh, memory aids which are also equally important are the flash cards the flash cards are used to teach the kids in their young age similar method of learning also can be adopted for the quick reference in preparation time as well so as i have mentioned previously that this preparation is not a overnight journey it takes minimum 4 to 5 months or uh, at most 6 months to successfully prepare and uh, qualify the examination a one bad day in these stud studies may ruin your dreams you may feel frustrated and abandon your preparations if you are not guided by the experts therefore i suggest personally every one of you to go for the experts advice and coaching so it is said that any fool can carry on but a wise man knows how to sail in short time as shown in the figure here you can take your ship and go to the sea without the guidance of compass or the navigator and get stuck there or else you should be well experienced to use the techniques to finish your journey in given time it is also said that directionless efforts is nothing but but a wasted time if you keep on hitting the wood with the axe at different places you are never going to succeed to cut that wood piece into two it requires a perfect guidance a uh, repetitive hits at the same place over and over and that comes with the experience so you need the guidance by the experts to qualify this examination in the short time why it is important because the coaching will help you achieve your goals in shortest possible time the time factor is the one that decides whether you are going to succeed or not and it is also observed that a well guided and counseled students know better than their counterparts what to do in difficult situations they also know how to prepare in best possible way and they are found to tackle the exam anxiety better than anybody else so there are some more benefits of coaching coaching improves retention of learning because during coaching you will be simultaneously reading listening watching and doing the things therefore the retention of learning will be improved it also develops the ability to listen without any judgment a good listener is a good learner it is always said that similarly during coaching you will have your colleagues teachers and experts along with you and you can share your knowledge and solve your questions on time moreover it offers the opportunities for learners to make the great choices and the decisions uh, related to examinations and not only that the students who take coaching develop their own coaching skill learning 
how to bring out best in themselves and the people around them so coaching is very very important in any exams preparation so how to choose the coaching and the mentor so choosing a experienced mentor is also equally important step in the preparation the words advisor coach and mentor are synonymously used throughout but there is a difference between all these three terms each has its specific role advisor is a person who is experienced and he can give the comments about your progress if and when asked on the other hand the coach is somebody who teaches from the textbooks regular textbooks etc it is coach and teacher is almost similar but a mentor is a person who is professionally well ahead of you and being in touch with or around the mentor you can learn from his experiences so mentor is the one which has all the abilities of coach and the advisor thus you should go for selecting a proper mentor so experienced mentor are more effective in raising the student's achievement in shorter time in well planned man and teachers become mentors over time when they gain experience and they do better also some mentors known to strengthen the education in the unconventional ways so choose your mentor wisely with whom you are going to spend the time having said this i would like to say in one sentence you were doing all the things right but there should should be a change in approach uh, this time while preparing choose a proper mentor and coaching so the details about the important topics in inorganic physical and organic chemistry will any way will be discussed by the other speaker uh, ms shanti but if you are interested in organic chemistry i would like to spend some time on the mass distribution in organic chemistry in csi examination spe- specifically in uh, chemical sciences each question has multiple concepts so it is very difficult and challenging to say the question belongs to this unit rather than that unit since the question becomes um, comes from the mix uh, mixture of the con- concepts it is becomes challenging to distribute the weightage however looking at the previous year question papers we have concluded that a majority of the questions are being asked from unit number 5 that is 10% unit number 7 12% and unit number 13 that is 12% so this covers the spectroscopy this covers the reaction mechanisms etc and unit number 7 covers the organic synthetic reagents overall of the weightage is more for these three units but don't ignore other units because many of them has the equal weightage 8% 8% 8% etc so if you are planning to take up the organic chemistry it's better to focus on minimum 10 units out of 13 and be thorough and you can take up other uh, subject like in organic or physical according to your interest so what you can do from today you should remember that syllabus is vast please don't get burdened by a large number of topic study only important topics whatever may be the subject area organic or inorganic or physical 
identify the important topic by understanding the unit wise weightage of the exam syllabus now we have discussed for this organic chemistry you can continue to attend this webinar and learn more about the other parts once finalized be thorough with the concepts never ever ignore any concept practice again and again continue practicing until you remember the reaction mechanisms and see the reaction mechanism in dreams as well literally i am saying once you practice to the core the reaction mechanisms will appear in your dreams as well and please do not ignore the basics be thorough with your 10th and 12th standard curriculum that will help you solve section b questions without any hurdle so if you follow this and take the help of some experts definitely you are going to succeed in upcoming exam that is june 2021 i wish you all the best and i would like to see you on board with rasayanika for this journey thank you have a nice day hello everyone thank you nitin sir thank you shekhar sir for giving us the opportunity to address such energetic audiences and also for conducting such webinars which is definitely going to play a very important role in shaping the career of the future scientists the budding researchers in the field of chemical science students please confirm by writing a yes in chat box if you can hear me and if the slide is visible to all of you the clarity is good please confirm by writing a yes if the slide is visible i am audible right okay okay great so just imagine yourselves being placed in one of the topmost research institutes of india as a phd scholar it must be all of your dream right that is being placed in one of the topmost research institutes of india be it the iits iisc isers nits and whatsoever it's all of your dream i wonder yes or no yeah definitely so what are the three r's we all dream about rewards recognition and respect and all these three can be achieved if we are placed in one of those institutions of india as a researcher and by the end of near about 5 years we emerge as one of the most successful phd students of india it must it must be all of your dream right so as the name of today's webinar suggests kickstarter csir net 2020 start when do we actually start and when we start we all have a goal in our minds that we will have to reach a particular destination so what is destination in terms of any competitive examination in terms of csir net examination what do we mean by success when do we say that we have succeeded getting a rank in grf in the csir net examination there is a start to everything but when we start we all have to set a milestone that we will have to reach the destination by hook or by crook so if this is your starting point and this is your destination there are various steps we have to go through before reaching the milestone our target our goal our destination so all of you who are who are attending today's webinar all of you must be dreaming of getting a rank in net grf is it 
but why are we not able to achieve this this is because maybe we are lacking proper planning proper time management skills we don't know how to work smartly or maybe some of us are working hard but even after working hard we are not getting the appropriate results is it so i am very much sure that at the end of today's webinar all of you will have a totally different perspective a different point of view regarding this examination so now coming to the importance of decision making we all make decisions at each and every points in our lives right some of them are right decisions and some of them are wrong decisions to all is human right we we none of us are perfect so we always make unintentionally some wrong decisions in our lives but any right decision will lead us to success and any wrong decision will lead us to failure so what is important here is decision making making the correct decision now one thing make it very clear that csi and net is a rejection game where majority of the candidates will get rejected so if you really want to get selected please take the correct decisions what kind of decisions and who is the decision maker a wrong decision will cost you your qualification so it is all about the planning the risk and the strategies which actually matter so who is the decision maker it is you who is going to take the decision not your friends not your family members not your teachers but it is you who is going to sit for the examination and take the correct decision we all take decisions during preparation and also at the day of the examination in the examination hall after getting the paper after seeing the paper in front of the screen now during preparation or once we think that we will start preparing for an examination there will be various questions which will arise first and foremost what will be the subject of interest organic chemistry inorganic chemistry or physical chemistry or any two of them or all three of them i have seen many students and most of them what they do is that they study any two very thoroughly and the third part they just study the important portions next comes what are the important units and among the units what are the important sub units next coming to the time management what should be your daily schedule how much time to be kept for revision so once we start preparing for a particular examination these are the various questions which arise in our minds in any student now there are a few more questions which will arise how long will i plan is it a day a week a month or a year now you all are aware of the fact that there is a gap of 6 months between two examinations suppose you are giving one examination in december the next examination is conducted in june so there is a span of 6 months and mark my word students the 6 months is well enough for each one of you to clear the cut off to get a rank in grf to achieve success to achieve the goal it's just that your goal setting should be perfect the 6 months duration each and every hour counts in this 6 months proper planning proper strategy the risks is what actually matters during preparation what should be the daily schedule you all must be wondering that what should be our daily schedule 
is there enough time for self study is it enough for us if we undergo self study and is there actually enough time to do that and what to study the syllabus is vast in chemical science the syllabus is actually very vast in physical chemistry in organic chemistry organic chemistry there are near about on an average 12 to 14 units in all the three and very many sub units the syllabus is actually vast so what to study in this 6 months of time when to start and when to stop will the assigned time be sufficient any student i'm sure that all of you who are attending today's webinar all of you must have gone through these sorts of questions in your mind while you have started to prepare or you have thought of preparing for the examination yes or no yes will i study this or what if i don't feel like suppose you have got a very difficult topic you don't feel like studying it so you think okay leave it for today i'll study i'll start with this with this tomorrow how to assess that i have understood the topic or not suppose you have studied one particular topic but you are not able to assess whether you have studied it properly whether you will be able to solve the questions which will be asked from this parts so before preparing or while one starts for preparing these questions will invariably arise in your minds so at the end of today's webinar all these answers all these questions will be answered please stay tuned already nitin sir have answered many of these questions now without further delay i'll move straight towards the syllabus before preparation what is important is that all of you must be thorough with your syllabus and the important topics and the reference books that you should follow hack your syllabus hack each and every portion of the syllabus be very thorough with what you will have to study know the syllabus identify the important and the frequently asked topics the syllabus is huge so break it into fragments break the entire syllabus into fragments select the units and the sub units which are to be prepared and under the units add sub topic names if required now here is your inorganic chemistry syllabus in inorganic chemistry there are a total of 12 units i'll be highlighting the important portions from which questions are usually asked questions have been asked in your last 10 to 12 years from the important units the most important units from inorganic chemistry being transition elements and coordination compounds then we have the inner transition elements we have organometallic chemistry we also have main group elements which is a very vast unit should be studied very tactfully we have bio inorganic chemistry another very scoring portion bio inorganic chemistry then we have few spectroscopic portions like ir raman nmr epr mosbor spectroscopy and in addition we also have units like structure and bonding chemical periodicity i'll be discussing no worry i'll be discussing on the important units and the sub units the important topics from each next coming towards physical chemistry in which we have a total of 14 units numericals are usually asked from physical chemistry we have chemical thermodynamics a very important topic carries a huge weightage of marks we also have statistical thermodynamics chemical kinetics are elec and electrochemistry are also very important units from which specially numericals are asked we have solid state molecular spectroscopy another very important part of physical chemistry syllabus next coming to the organic chemistry where we have a total of 13 units the 13th unit structure determination by spectroscopic test
techniques being the most important amongst all of them. We have common named reactions and rearrangements. Organic reactive intermediates, these are the most important portions I am talking about. So what is important, the first step towards preparation is to be very thorough with your syllabus and know the important units and the subunits, the important topics. Okay. Next coming towards how to manage this entire syllabus in this short period of time, in this six months time. Firstly, you all need to know the important topics and the subtopics from the important units. Coming first to physical chemistry. Please take a note. As I am telling you all, please take a note of the important topics. In quantum chemistry, now see, quantum is such a unit where I see that students usually say that I will skip this part. No, do not skip. Even, you, even if you are not able to cover the entire unit, study these important topics. You have commutator, you have operator, then you have 1D, 2D and 3D box problems. One or two questions will be asked on this part. Then have a clear cut idea on wave functions. This is important, having a clear cut idea about wave functions. We have the simple harmonic oscillator. Huckel molecular orbital theory, the concept of degeneracy and various approximation methods. So these are the important portions from quantum chemistry. Even if you are thinking of that, okay, I'll skip this portion. This is difficult. No, do not skip. Cover portions from these important parts. Okay. Then coming to chemical thermodynamics. A star unit from physical chemistry. I call this unit a star unit. Chemical thermodynamics. Important portions are Maxwell's relation. Be very thorough with all the Maxwell's relations. Carnot cycle. The heat engine. The efficiency formulas. All the formulas. You all need to know the thermodynamic equation of state. The various CPCV relations. The statistical thermodynamics portions of probability and partition function. Be very thorough with this topic. The partition function. Questions are asked from these portions. Then we have phase transitions. So these are the important portions from chemical thermodynamics. Be very thorough with the formulas because numericals will be asked. Various thermodynamic states, the thermodynamic equation of states, various processes, the Carnot cycle, the various graphs, the TS graph or PV curve, all the curves, the basic concepts. Okay. Next comes chemical kinetics, yet another very important portion. Numericals will be asked. You all have studied chemical kinetics in your plus two levels also, I guess. Here we have the concepts of the rate law. We have the different orders of reactions, the zero order, first order, second order, nth order reactions, the temperature dependence, that is the Arrhenius equation. Then we have the steady state approximation, using the steady state approximation questions are asked. Then comes the transition state theory and the collision theory, another very important portion. And then we have the Enzyme kinetics, Michaelis Menten, from which you need to be thorough with the formula because numericals are asked. It is seen that from on reviewing the, on going through the past year's questions, nowadays Michaelis Menten mechanism of enzyme kinetics has become really very important. Okay. Then we have electrochemistry. Be thorough with Nernst equation. Cell potential, Debye-Huckel theory, the electrolytic conductance, numericals are asked from this part, the electrolytic conductance and we also have the Kohl-Roche's law. This unit is easy and also carries weightage of marks. Then from molecular spectroscopy, 
there is rotational and vibrational spectra focusing on the diatomic molecules then next we have the ir and raman activities the various selection rules of various spectra and also we have the electronic spectra these are the important portions from molecular spectroscopy then we have group theory where we have symmetry elements point groups various character tables and selection rules so these are the important units and the important topics under these units from physical chemistry next we will move towards the numerical based questions which are asked from different units there is quantum mechanics as i have already mentioned molecular spectroscopy there is chemical thermodynamics electrochemistry solid state and chemical kinetics so these are the units from which numericals are asked and also you might expect graph based questions to be asked from these units also next here is the marks distribution from quantum chemistry in the last 5 years where it can be seen that a high weightage of marks was asked in the year june 2016 and december 2016 this unit carries a high weightage of marks and also we have chemical kinetics we also have chemical kinetics and this shows the marks distribution of chemical kinetics in the last 5 years okay so these are the reference books we have puri sharma pathania for quantum chemistry there is donald a macquery there is levine also a very important reference book which can be followed which you all can follow for molecular spectroscopy is banwell for chemical applications of group theory we have f a cotton and this is for general physical chemistry peter atkins okay now next we have important portions from inorganic chemistry coordination chemistry and organometallic chemistry being the most important of all of them in coordination chemistry we have concepts of isomerization various kinds of isomers you all need to be thorough with the various kinds of isomers next we have the metal ligand charge transfer and the ligand to metal charge transfer you need to know the examples under these categories we also have the intervalence charge transfer it has been seen that questions from intervalence charge transfer is also asked in your exam there is questions on dd transition also like questions can be asked on the mnh2 whole six compound this is a very important question we have color and spectra next we have concepts of orgel diagram there is trans effect please be thorough with the trans effect order the order of trans effect next we have the atomic and the molecular term symbols then from reaction mechanism there is inner and outer orbital complexes and water exchange reactions okay we also have the labile and inert complexes the labile and inert complexes so these are the important portions from coordination chemistry this unit being another star unit from your syllabus of inorganic chemistry in physical chemistry i said that chemical thermodynamics is the star unit carries a high weightage of marks and also is very important you all need to be very thorough with these all these portions okay next another very important unit is organometallic chemistry very scoring also if you all are thorough with organometallic chemistry then this unit is very scoring here we have the eighteen electron rule the metal metal bonds isolable analogy concept of isolable analogy the mc bond length questions can be asked on the order of the mc bond lengths the various clusters you might be asked to predict the type of the cluster using wade's rule close o nido arachno hypo and which one questions are also asked on prediction of the type of zintl ions also in zintl ions also such questions are asked okay 
we also have borins carborins we have metal carbonyls various fisher and schrock carbenes and catalysis various homogeneous catalysis you need to be thorough with the various catalytic cycles okay next coming towards the inner transition elements questions have been asked from the electronic configurations please do remember the exceptions along with the reasons the exceptions of the inner transition elements in their electronic configuration then comes their separation spectroscopic separation using ion exchange techniques also then we have the color and the spectra and the magnetic properties kindly students take a note of this important techniques sorry the important topics in main group elements now see this particular unit is actually very vast and i have seen students facing problems like i have faced questions like how to tackle this unit no need to study i am i am telling you all no need to study all the portions just be thorough with the structure bonding and synthesis of borazine boron nitride boric acid borax aluminum chloride and phosphazine and also in addition to these topics the xenon compounds the structure of the xenon compounds which is also covered in your vacpr theory and a few reactions of xenon compounds the xenon fluorides the xenon oxides and so on okay no need to study the entire chapter like there are n number of equations structures and so many things no do not study all this is a very vast unit so i would suggest you all if you want to skip this unit do not skip just go through these important portions okay then another unit is chemical structure and bonding where we have vacpr questions come from vacpr theory one structure is asked the structure of compounds are asked from this unit there are also questions from the order of bond angle suppose you are asked to give the order of bond angles for h2o h2s and h2ac h2te okay next we have questions from bond energy dipole moments and frictionality in tbp molecules from bio inorganic chemistry these are the important parts for firings methylenzymes oxygen transport rubridoxin cytochrome c oxidase photosynthesis the ps1 and the ps2 the z scheme the nitrogen is the blue copper proteins and carboxy peptides be thorough with the active sites the metals present in the active sites and their functions usually match the following questions are seen to be asked from this unit okay next analytical chemistry where we have chromatography thermogravimetric analysis differential thermal analysis polarography conductometric titrations and the lambert beers law so these are the important portions from bio inorganic and analytical chemistry so this is the marks distribution from coordination chemistry in the last 5 years a huge weightage of marks is asked from this unit see 28 marks question was asked in one year here we have 22 marks 32 a high weightage right so coordination chemistry is really the star unit in inorganic chemistry next we have organometallics and main group elements this is the marks distribution of the last 5 years starting from june 2014 to june 2019 okay from organometallics and main group elements these are the reference books which you all can follow jd lee hui misler and tar okay these are the important books next coming to organic chemistry the important units being named reactions and the rearrangement reactions very very important be very thorough with the various named reactions and the rearrangement reactions then from the reactive intermediates you all need to be thorough with the generation the stability the reactivity of the benzynes the carbenes 
the nitrines, the carbocations, carbon ions and the free radicals. These are the various reactive intermediates. Nowadays, it is seen that questions are often asked from benzynes, carbenes and nitrines. Various reactions, the generation, their reactivity, the stability. Okay. We also have pericyclic reactions and stereochemistry. So, these are the important portions from organic chemistry. And in organic chemistry, the most important topic being the organic spectroscopy. This is the most important topic from organic chemistry. Which includes UV visible spectroscopy, IR spectroscopy, 1H and 13 CNMR and mass spectrometry. This is the most important topic from organic chemistry. These are the reference books for organic chemistry. We have Aluvalia, then comes Caruthers, Claydon, and this book, D. Nasipuri. This one is for the stereochemistry of organic compounds. Okay. So, what should be the order of studying the chapters? The important topics you have seen, the important subtopics sub you have seen. So, what is the, what should be the order of studying the chapters? For inorganic chemistry, what you all can do is that you can start with the easy one. Suppose it's chemical periodicity and bonding. And from this, gradually move towards a difficult one. Not difficult one actually. Coordination and organometrics is not difficult, but thought of practicing is required in this units. Then slowly you can move towards bioinorganic. And from bioinorganic towards inner transition elements. And after you all are done with this, go to main group elements. This is, I am talking about the important topics, okay. For organic, start with spectroscopy and then gradually move towards the name reactions and rearrangement. Now see students, all of you need to remember lots and lots of name reactions and rearrangements. So I would suggest to you all is that daily you study them. Just revise these name reactions. It's not that you are done with name reactions, then after one month you are studying the name reactions. So, no, don't do like this. Okay. Then we have the reactive intermediates and the reagents. We have pericyclic chemistry and stereochemistry. Okay. So, this can be the order of studying these units. Next, coming towards physical chemistry. You can start with chemical thermodynamics, which is the most important part. After that, you can go to quantum chemistry. From this, you can gradually move towards chemical kinetics, then molecular spectroscopy, and then to group theory. Now, once you are done with all these topics, the question is that, which topics to study? After you all have covered the important ones, I have told you the important topics, the important subtopics under them. So once you all are done with studying the important topics, what can you do? Or which are the topics which can you, which you can cover after you are done covering the important ones? From inorganic chemistry, there is solid states. There is EPR and Mosbor. Nuclear chemistry and acid-base chemistry. Usually few questions are asked from this unit. So after covering the important ones, you all can go to solve this chapter, study these chapters. Next, there is physical chemistry, where polymer chemistry. Nowadays it is seen that questions from polymer chemistry is asked in your exams. Then there is data analysis, colloids and surface chemistry in physical chemistry. So these are a few less important topics. I, I will not say less important, but these units carry less weightage of marks. Okay. Next in organic, we have natural products and retrosynthesis. So these are the topics you all can opt for once you are done with covering the important ones as I have mentioned. Now the next question that comes is that, okay, you all are thorough with the syllabus, the important topics, the subtopics and everything. 
but how to manage studying these topics in the six months of time how good is your time management now it's time for your preparation assign day slots for units in a particular week and hour slots for subunits in a day study not more than two units in a particular day in any particular day do not study more than two units all you can do is that assign the day slots for the units in a particular week and then divide the days into hours where you can study the sub units but how to deal with one particular topic suppose you have started studying a topic how to deal with that particular topic divide time slots for different activities under a topic your first slot can be used for studying the topic and understanding the concept well this can be your first slot now the second slot in the second slot go through some questions from the topic from previous year question papers take a previous year question paper just find the questions that have been asked from this topics and go through those questions and make note of those sub topics which you are not able to solve or grasp at that moment okay so you have studied a particular topic now it's time to assess yourself you have taken one previous year question paper or few previous year question papers and you are assessing yourself that whatever i have studied am i able to solve this question and if you have got stuck in any portion just make a note of those portions which you are not able to solve now coming to the third slot try to solve more questions on that topic till the time you get correct answers and be very confident and develop conceptual clarity until and unless you are able to solve all questions and develop clarity in your concept do not leave any topic and this is how each and every topic will gradually come into your grip then in the fourth slot revise what you whatever you have studied in your previous day and in this way each and every topic from each and every units and sub units will be in your hand will be in your grip next coming to you will have to categorize where you stand and designate the time accordingly divide the topics into the strong ones the medium ones and the weak ones like the topics in which you have become strong and the topics in which you think that some portions you can do but you are not able to solve the problem suppose and the topics where you are week categorize the topics into these three categories and one unconventional way is that take a previous year question paper and solve questions from that part so that you are able to assess yourself you are able to know where you are lying with that particular unit and which portions you are able to solve which portions you are thorough with and which portions you are not able to solve and you need more and more practice more and more conceptual clarity another thing you can do during your preparation is that break your day a particular day break it into hours break your day into hours in the morning hours what you can do is that you can utilize the morning hours on those topics that you find difficult to learn but why we all wake up in the morning in a fresh mind so whatever topics you feel difficult to learn as you have already categorized your topics as strong weak and medium only all those topics which you find difficult to learn and understand utilize the morning hours in studying those topics the noon hours what you can do is that noon hours you can spend on the topics which can be solved with the help of short tricks and methods and try to cover your maximum portion in the morning and noon hours and dictate dedicate your evening hours for refining your performance that where you are lying after the entire day in the evening just assess yourself that where you are lying at the end of the day so that you can judge yourself and assess where you are lying how is your preparation 
now you have studied but it's time for your revision because studying without revision means not studying at all revise on a daily basis and on weekly basis study once but revise thrice only studying won't do you will have to revise each and every portion that you have studied so what you can do during revision spend at least 5 hours of time for your studies daily and allot 1 hour extra for revision allot 1 extra hour for your revision take the important topics first and as soon as you complete that topic revise instantly this is all about your revision because without revision there is no use of studying also perform the combined revision of the topics which you studied the whole day long as i have said that in your e e evening hours whatever you have studied the entire day just do the combined revision of whatever you have revised that entire day each day try to revise at least 3 units from your csir net syllabus once you are done preparing then devote each day to revise 3 units from your csir syllabus you can solve 80 mcqs per day like 35 from part part a 25 from part c sorry 20 part a 35 part b and 25 part c likewise you can try solving the question papers also now one important thing is that do not start with any new or untouched unit at this moment when the exam is just knocking your doorstep no no need whatever you have studied you think that that is enough i will have to revise don't start with any topic which you haven't studied when your exams are approaching or knocking your doorsteps next coming to practice as nitin sir has already highlighted without practice there is no success you all need to solve previous year question papers as well as give mock examinations so which is a good source for practicing questions is it questions at the back of the standard reference books not always not always previous year question paper is that actually enough what do you think only solving previous year question paper will that do will you be able to assess yourself will you be able to assess your performance no so what you are not getting basically is a detailed explanation unit wise questions and mock tests for practice other than your previous year question paper you all need to have unit wise question suppose you have studied one unit and you just want to assess yourself and practice new problems other than the previous year ones and also you need to practice more and more mock tests so what is the importance of coaching sir has already highlighted so at rasayanika we have teaching with the best available it tools we have the best available faculty members in rasayanika who develop easy to remember learning methods here we have flow charts flash cards we have weekly tests and monthly quests we have lectures which have revision or practice we also have options of online class which is available there is 24/7 chat support which is available here we have the video recordings of each lectures which are taken here and in the study portal we have ppts ebooks and various question papers which are available so this is how the the coaching environment in rasayanika will help us to develop and to achieve our destination these are the various test series which are available in rasayanika we have tests on weekly basis we also have the monthly quests and the aimnet test series so 
are you all armed with the right weapons and right planning tell me are you all ready for your preparation i guess so so if you are armed with the right weapons and the right planning you can definitely defeat a mammoth so plan ahead start your preparation all the very best to all of you for any further assistant we are always here to guide you all do call us if you need any assistance so thank you all of you good luck for your preparation and just keep one thing in mind nothing is impossible you all all of you can achieve the target it's just that you need the proper planning the right strategies and proper time management skills so thank you all of you now i give the controls to our host shekhar sir thank you all right looks like we have come to an end of our webinar i hope you all loved this webinar i can already see a lot of hearts in the chat box yes i definitely loved it and i'm sure you all loved it and i'm sure you spent a good quality time with the experts and now that you have a power packed action plan remember you have to execute it we are just you know your uh, uh, people who will show you your path but you are supposed to take action implementing this action plan is what is going to take you even if you spend thousands and lakhs and lakhs of rupees you cannot qualify that is just 50% you enroll into coaching with rasayanika or anywhere else that's just 50% of the plan the rest 50% depends on you and how do you do that right first thing as soon as you wake up in the morning make a time table what are you going to do what time what thing okay and optimize 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 okay implement optimize implement optimize execute this is how it is right so the plan is in front of you the execution depends on you and but before you go before i let you go i have surprise gifts so the feedback form link will be given in the description please share your valuable feedback so that we know where we went wrong or right and how can we improve give us a five star if you loved it give us a one star if you didn't okay and followed with that once you have filled the form you will be redirected to your surprise gift okay so also tomorrow i will send you a separate email where i'll send you the pdf or the ppt which was used in today's webinar right thank you so much for tuning in to rasayanika today guys and girls and see you in our next webinar very soon live from bengaluru bye bye good night